Greetings, Commanders. Welcome to another episode of Surviving Mars. And in this episode, we will be repopulating uh, the Mars colony because we have more jobs than our people. When that occurs, uh, they're definitely expanding too fast. I do have a lot of domes now. I was supposed to consolidate everything into one dome. I don't know what happened. I think I expanded too quickly once again. But I will be making domes uh, dedicated to doing uh, certain things, uh, namely one dome for science research, another for the children the nursery. Of course, we still have the elderly place all the way in the far east corner of the map. There's no services, no rockets, no way to escape your impending doom, which I think it's okay. It's, it's a nursing home. They have a crate of food. Uh, but their their building will be uh, upgraded uh, for comfort level, so they will spend their last days uh, wondering what was to come. But <laughs> I know it sounds kind of bad, but uh, as far as the strategy of this game, uh, once you reach retirement age, that's you get sent off to in to that uh, isolated area. Uh, I uh, I think I do eventually put stuff over there, but not. At this moment in time, I'm trying to conserve resources. We're actually out of, still out of metals. So uh, I definitely am doing more asteroid type missions. So we're experimenting with doing two uh, extraction areas at, at a time. So once I was reading about the auto extractors, the they move to the next uh, resource once it's depleted. I misunderstood that. I thought these were things that uprooted themselves and uh, able to go and walk on or attach themselves to some sort of thing that allows them to be mobile to the next uh, resource. But that's not the case. You actually need to be in the vicinity of another resource to be able to get that thing once it's depleted. So yes, you do have to plop your auto extractor on top of two resources or adjacent resources able to take advantage of that uh, kind of thing. So we do have the medium sized dome with the arc uh, spire, the this the special spire that or the arcosphere spire, I think it's the arcosphere. But it allows you to have uh, 32 or 36 uh, citizens in, inside. That's pretty good uh, for creating a, uh, in a, in a for uh, saving space as far as apartment cl complexes and things like that. We're definitely underway to do our terraforming 100% challenge, uh, which is the main goal of the game. We do have the open farms that are it's pumping out the seeds and the, the food uh, for all the domes that we are creating. There is eventually a, a problem with uh, food distribution. There's not enough drones or not enough hands to deliver the food, not enough delivery shuttles, air shuttles or things like that. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, the, the, one of the only ways to alleviate that problem is to have the delivery area right next to where you live. So yes, your, your local uh, hub needs to be plotted down nearby. Yeah, I guess you could call it uh, drone hubs. Uh, your, uh, your local drone hub, if you live near one, then you should be good to go as far as your delivery of your goods. So we have the AI talking to us again. Uh, we're definitely uh, filling up our event log for research logs. So I, I noticed when it started contacting us was when we uh, started uh, adding the research nodes, uh, the science research nodes. Uh, uh, there are spires that uh, boost the research of the, uh, the dome and we put those domes right next to uh, research boost perk uh, things or icons on the map, so. Yeah, that AI thing, uh, it's the mystery that we 
are doing for this game. Uh, when I replay a game, I'm gonna make sure I pick a different mystery. But it's definitely an interesting thing. I, I thought it would be nice since one of my uh, postgraduate studies is in artificial intelligence only in, uh, and machine learning. So it definitely suits uh, what I would like to, uh, to think about uh, regarding uh, this game. Automation is definitely key, but uh, you know, we all depend on it to work. I hope it works. And when it doesn't work, then uh, you need some kind of intervention to, to make sure it works. This thing is actually kind of it's uh, sentient, so it's starting to uh, talk back and letting us know how it feels or uh, whatever is doing it to be conscious. So I don't know if it's in this episode where I finally put colonists on an asteroid, but uh, it's definitely faster for them to be on the asteroid as part of, as part of a mining operation. I pick, I eventually pick the uh, unclassed uh, citizens to do that sort of thing. We're unspecialized and uh, for some reason I had children on board uh, the, uh, the space station. I don't know if they were born uh, um, the, not the space station, the colony up in uh, up on the asteroid. I don't know if they were born on the, on the ride. No, they couldn't have been because I only can do two, or I can only uh, I can only have nine in, in, as a pass, as passengers. Or I think I can only have twenty two, and I only picked nine because nine was the most you could fit in a habitat. So that was pretty weird, but I couldn't use them. Uh, they couldn't work. They just stayed in the habitat and just uh, used up uh, the food and the oxygen and the water. So, yeah. And then we, we ran out, so we had to uh, shut down the mining operation fairly quickly. Which, by the way, I hope you enjoyed the previous episode. We uh, talked about uh, mining on different places where we are in 2022. Uh, it's pretty, uh, oh wait, I'm, I'm thinking in the past, so by this time, so, so today is, so this is a little weird thing that's happening here, right? I'm recording for the future because I have three months worth of videos or gameplay videos that were done in advance. And today is the day after New Year's. So I'm talking about the episode that just came out on New Year's but I'm already recording for February 6th. Uh, it's a little time paradox that's happening right now, but future self, past self, I have to, I have to be, be a little bit better about this. That's, I guess I should just focus on the video. That way, time or not, whatever time it is, it should match with the video. Sorry about that uh, segue, but right now, what we're doing for this episode was to repopulate, right? Where you need to focus on the Martian University, uh, look at what needs to be, uh, as far as jobs go, you, it's an indication of where you need your people at. It'll count the number of slots that are needed, like uh, engineers, scientists, or uh, geologists, or some of the things that we would need uh, space on the, the available slots that are missing. And uh, once you use these uh, Martian universities, they also would benefit from a sanatorium where they don't have flaws. If you have any uh, people who are critically ill or things like that, they should be cured. Uh, to, oh, they, they can still work in the workforce, but you'd prefer people with chronic illness to uh, be healed, right? So that they could work longer. Because uh, they lose a bit of health each time that they're out there. Uh, it's like every hour or every soul, they lose health. So that's kind of a devastating thing. But uh, there are other things we can unlock uh, later. And they're, with the Sanatorium Spire, you can read out the uh, other unlikable traits, but uh, there's also another spire that allows uh, you to make uh, workaholics. I think it, it's the school spire, actually. 
and workaholics they will work under any condition if you click that hour or the the time um, right next to the shift i think it's the overtime i i keep meaning to look at the term that they use for that but it's probably overtime if you click on that then that would be uh, their production would increase uh, a little bit Anyway, uh, this is all the time that we have. The next episode, we are going to be unlocking the trees. So it's uh, we're going to uh, definitely explore the option of terraforming and getting that to 100%. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to make sure you don't uh, miss any future videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. If you ding that bell, or hit join. I'll see you in three days. This is John Nezadam signing out. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you're essential.